I remember one time we were playing in a big stadium in Washington, D.C. This was another different time. And it was a ride, I mean, a race ride. It was, you know what I mean? It was staring up cities and shit. Mm-hmm. They had a, 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 a ride right in the concert, man. And, and you could see, I mean, you, it, it looked like an ocean of people. It must have been 50, 75,000 people. Because it was, I forget the name of that uh, uh, venue. Uh, it was more like a baseball stadium. Okay. The Washington Senators or whatever that team was. So what happened? Whatever their home field was. <clears throat> uh, when first we saw this, this these clouds of smoke, man. The police came in there, helicopters flying over, man. We were on the bandstand plane. All of a sudden, I got a whiff of something in my nose, man, and... My eyes start burning. And everybody just start looking at each other. And she said, man, let's get out of here, man. And so we went back into the dressing room, right? Mm-hmm. We shut down the show, man. We went in the dressing room. And that shit start creeping in the dressing room. That, uh, uh, Tear gas. Uh-huh. You ever had that shit? Yeah, man, most definitely. Man, that shit just burning, man. Mm-hmm. Our eyes and our skin. And we back behind it in a dressing room with them closed steel doors, man. We had a towel up under the door, man, that still seeped in there. So we had to take showers and shit before we could come out of there, man. That was one hell of a big Tell me about the first time y'all were in Jet Magazine. We were in Chicago, and we were doing a photo shoot for an album. And I guess the record company must have said, uh... We we need to get the, you know get the media on these guys. So they had us doing all kinds of stuff like the Jet Magazine, Billboard Magazine, Rolling Stone. Uh, and after after we did the Jet Magazine shoot, the next year we were scheduled to do the Ebony Magazine. They were going to do a big layout on the band for Ebony. And they came to Dayton, man. They had all these photographers and shit. And they had all this. Well, one but one photographer. But they had a couple of people that, that write, you know, writers that tell the story. Uh-huh. And they did interviews. And when they got to Sugar's house, Sugar had two women staying with him, two sharp girls, man. They got to Sugar's house and they did the interview with Sugar. And then they left. They said, man, we can't do this story, man. That man living with two women. Well, back in them days, Today, that wouldn't have been no biggie, right? Mm-hmm. But back then, that was a no-no. So they, they scratched it. The publication called Jet was trying to be a, a sophisticated type magazine. You know how, not Jet, but Ebony. And we had already did Jet. Matter of fact, I was on the cover of Jet by myself. How was it you by yourself? So, I don't know. They they did a picture where we had, we had played at High Chaparral. And they had a, a, a um, right behind the center pole, they had another picture of me in black and white on there. I, I think I still got that picture. But we'll look those things up. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a little research. Mm-hmm. Well-